I'm Jacob James, photographer, filmmaker, and Panasonic Lumix ambassador. The S1H comes equipped with a number of professional tools designed to help you check your image exposure. Understanding the exposure of your image is vital for balancing lighting and maintaining good color in your imagery. Good exposure tools are critical to getting consistent results. Environmental factors such as ambient light brightness and color temperature can easily change the apparent exposure of an image if you rely purely on eyeing the monitor. Exposure tools help give you a frame of reference that is standardized regardless of the environmental conditions you're shooting in. The most commonly used function for exposure is called zebras. Zebras allow you to identify areas of the image that surpass the set IRE percentage. The standard use for zebras is to check for overexposure. To switch zebras on, you need to go into the settings menu, down to the monitor display video submenu, and select zebra pattern. Zebras in the S1H are available from 50% to 105% in normal pitch profiles and 50% to 95% in HLG. You can also switch Zebra 1, Zebra 2, or Zebra 1 and 2 on at the same time, giving you multiple options for your Zebra patterns. By switching Zebra 1 on at 100%, we can dial in our exposure outside to make sure we're not blowing out any detail in the sky. Once we see the zebras in the image, all we have to do is dial back the exposure until the areas of the image are back in the dynamic range of the camera and the zebras have disappeared. You can also set a lower threshold in Zebra 2 and display it at the same time, which can be useful for checking skin tone highlights. The S1H also comes with a new zebra option called Base Range, which allows you to set a base level from 18% grey and also a range above and below from 0.2 stops to 1 stop. To activate this, simply scroll down to the bottom of the Zebra percentage options and select Base Range. You can then define the base level with zero stop being 42% IRE or 18% grey and you can select up to eight stops below and six stops above. You can then also select a detection range from that value of 0.2 stops to one stop above and below. The second tool we have at our disposal on the S1H is the Waveform Monitor. Use of professional video equipment will be used to the Waveform Monitor. Waveforms allow you to visualize all the exposure values of a scene at one glance. Waveforms are shown on a scale from left to right of 0 to 100, 0 being true black and 100 being true white. You can overlay the waveforms onto an image to see how they directly correlate, as in this example. Moreover, on the S1H, you can now scale the waveform monitor to a comfortable size, and you can place the tool on one of the function buttons, making it handy to access at any given moment. To switch on the waveform monitor, you need to go into the monitor display video submenu and select waveform monitor vector scope. Here you can switch wave on, and you can use the back dial to change the size or the touch screen to change the location. Finally, new to the Lumix range is a tool called Luminance Spot Meter. It allows you to see the luminance value of any area of the image. To switch it on, you need to go to the Monitor Display Photo submenu and turn on Luminance Spot Meter. Once on, you'll see a small square which you can move around the screen. This then gives you a value either in IRE if you're in a normal pitch profile or stops if you're in a log profile. Luminance spot meter is great for ensuring consistent exposure of a particular object under different lighting scenarios. The other great use of luminance spot meter is exposing with a gray card. In vlog mode, luminance spot meter shows and stops. When using an 18% gray card, the correct exposure will show 0, 0.0 stops, making it quick and easy to get correct exposure even in difficult lighting scenarios. And these are the new exposure tools on the brand new Lumix S1H. Panasonic.